everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything on this link and don't forget to like comment and share my videos thank you last day we have added our book request page in our admin side and we have not added any message for showing here when some when the admin is not logged in so today we will add that message and for that we will go after the if condition ends where we have checked the login condition So after this if condition, there will be our else. Inside the second bracket, we will write the script. You can show it as a script or you can show it as a message. So here you just need to write it like this. And then inside the alert, you need to write the message that you want to show. And after it is done you can just save this and then we can just delete this comment now before the PHP tag ends now it is alright we just have the main code that we need now whenever someone enters there without login they can see this message but we want to show this inside the page as a message then we will show it like this we can just copy this one and modify this because we will have this same styling then let's write it here and we can just use this message instead of that title okay now we can remove this script or you if you want to show it as a script you can keep it like that here we will just show this message like this but we will change it a little bit here we will use h4 instead of h3 so that it will be a bit smaller than the title or heading let's add break here and let's add color yellow so we can see properly Now you can see it properly here. Now let's log in. Here we can see the list now. So after this we will work on our approval page. And for that we need to first go to that page. But before that we need to have the name and the book id they have requested we will go into our container class and there create another div box and inside this we will add another class that will be our search here inside this we will add a form and the form will have the same method post and then action that will be blank then there will be our form name and other things if you want to add any style you can add it as there is no other form in this page so we can add form 1 and then there will be our input the type will be text then the name we want to give our username inside that form so here the first input will be username then the class form control then placeholder this will be student username or just username then another one will be book ID or BID and these fields will be required so here input text and the name will be BID 
the column name that was inside our database or table and then the class form control and then placeholder will be bid like we have used in our table you can add anything else too and then after this let's add a button and we will add the class button and button default then there will be type and other things too first let's check how this looks and you need to write the button name here it will be submit and there will be type that will also be submit and if we have any other button inside this page we would need to have them different name but as there is no other button in this page or no other form so we will use this submit here and if we make another button in this page then we will name it as submit one two three any other thing we just need to make them different and here you can see that our form is here we just need to change the styling of our form and here we can change the padding a bit Here inside the form control, we will change the width. We will add height for our form control class so that our input height changes. We will have background color black. And then color white. Now we will use this button inside our PHP. So let's go to the end and check if the button is pressed. then we will create two session variable and this session variable will have the value that we will give input inside our form here we are give, giving our username and for this username we will give a variable name for our session variable here we are using st name that means student name or anything you want to 
save your name as then another variable will be dollar underscore session and this will be for book id so dollar underscore post b id that means our form value will be assigned to our session variable b id and let's add the username as session variable just name and after this we can just use this session variable in any place where we have started our session and then we will redirect this page to another new page called approve page then after that we can just approve the request of book in that page let's create a new page and save it inside our admin side approve.php and now after this we can just save this and let's go to the front and let's copy this code till the side navigation and here we will place this and after this let's end them and save this